what's up guys thanks for stopping by the channel so i'm just here with a little follow-up from the split that i made in the last video i'm just going to release a queen today today is the second day since i made the split so i'm going to free her up and add that pollen frame that i was saying that i'm going to add so i just came out of this box i know that these girls have a lot of pollen in their um first box so i went in there pull out the first side frame to the hen the number one frame and i didn't have to go any further it was loaded out with pollen and a little drone cells at the side that they have some drones in second frame was loaded with pollen as well the girls was just like asking me do you want more do you want more pollen <laughs> they have a lot of pollen so i pulled the pollen frame i was just about to close them up back and i said let i record a video so they have some money in their super this is what the super is looking like it just want one frame for it to full they are a bit angry since i stirred them up a bit earlier so i'm seeing that it's cap at the top so they are working their way going down capping it but i really don't know if they are going to find as much nectar to finish capping them off so I'm, I'm i'm like watching them guys because if they manage to cap them as they cap them i'm going to pull them guys so it's a couple a super in the hippie that have frames like this so they manage to get this nectar from the aki blossom it happened about sometime last week i got a sting on my hand and it's burning me let me see if i can the girls just want me to go now but i want to show you guys one of the frame i'm going to pull the first one that i know that they store on in normally the first one isn't the best kept one they normally start capping from the middle so this side isn't cap as yet but i see that the cells they are really near to cap they are popped out at the top here is cap for this one so they are capping and working and it going down so i'm going to take my time guys and put him back this frame since i'm holding the frame with my two hands and i can't get to work the smoker right now and the girls just want me to make one bad shift and that's it they will be kneeling this hive isn't so aggressive there i would say they are in between but since I, because I, I went down in the brood chamber i was in it looking around they said that's it we have enough for you you don't want any more pollen for him so go <laughs> so yes guys um as you can see I placed this foundation sheet in and they pull this side towards the, the frames that they are storing on it in they pull it out but this side is not yet pulled out so I'm going to turn it because I want them to work on this side So hopefully they will pull out the 
side that are just staring to them. So now I'm going to close them up. This is their little inner cover guys. So I'm just going to grab their cover, put it on and leave them alone. Okay, so they should be good. Going to continue monitoring that um, honey in those frames because I really need it. Now, going into the split. And this pollen here, I think some of it is mixed in with honey because it's looking shiny look like it's some wet pollen so they mix it with honey as you can see guys so that's why you have some bees on it trying to get that honey from from the pollen but as you can see guys it's a lovely pollen frame After, this it was the first one I pulled out so I just worked with it after I moved to the second one I realized that it was more packed with pollen but I just push it to the side position and put in a foundation in the center of that hive mm -hmm. so and it wanna seems like it's the bees from the split is on this frame right now because they're really active they're flying about so you want to look like it's them going to the pollen frame but to, i'm going to shake them off anyway so as you can see a little honey is in it So they are looking really good. A lot of bees is in the box. Seems like they don't the population don't drop a bit. So it it want, want to look like most of the bees that I pull with the frames they stayed. They did not go back to their original hive. So rest this here a bit going to free up the queen right now push over this frame here remember this was a brood frame packed out brood frame so I'm pushing them together now Give them a little puff of smoke. Now I'm refoc I'm refocusing the camera right now so you guys can get a clear view of this queen walking out of the cage. So there she is. So let's see what's going to happen. Come on, Queen. Hurry up and make your way out of prison. You did nothing to be in jail. I don't think I'm going to be able to wait on them to march out with the Queen. So I might have to force them. Okay, so there she is coming out now. There she is. She going down in the hive. So you don't need no, nothing more than that guys to see that they do upset the queen. 
within the two days that I introduced her to them. If they didn't upset her, they would they would have attacked her as I opened the cage, they would have made their way in and attacked her. So I'm going to add the pollen frame now. So if they was dying for pollen, they can get right on it right now. So that's a completed split guys. So yeah, they should be good from here. So until next time guys, remember to like the video. Please to hit that big thumbs up. Continue to subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section guys. Until next time. Peace out. I'm just going to close them up. But no.